Welcome to the Ports Garrison. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Who can afford to run will run, but what about those who can't? They will have to stay. Opportunities just scarce, scarce commodity. In these times I say, when mama spend her last and send you go class, never you ever play. It's a competitive world for low budget people. A competitive world for low budget people. Spending a dime while earning a nickel with no regards to who it may tickle. My cup is full to the brim. I could go on and on. The fool has never been told. I'm just trying to find out that little bit more right now. Not to fool it, but to get closer to the fool. Greetings and thanks for joining me. I am your host, P.D. Poet, and welcome to the Porch Garrison. If you're joining me for the first time, I implore you to check out the content. Please, subscribe if you like the content. And for the returning viewers and my subscribers always, it's enough love, enough manners, enough respects. Now today, Bojo Bantan is tickling my mind with the lyrics. Those who can afford will run, to run will run. But what about those who can't? They will have to stay. And I'm thinking of Dr. Nigel Clark, the finance minister of Jamaica. Soon to be former finance minister, as he will be taking up a new position with the International Monitor from the IMF in November of this year. Now, when I heard the news, my mind went crazy into a tailspin. And then I saw the reactions. Bunch of people fighting over themselves, falling over themselves to drop at his feet to glorify him. There's nothing wrong with commending him for reaching to where he wants to reach. Nothing wrong with that. But there are people who are even demanding, belittling others who have not fallen in line and congratulated him. Now, for me, it's a personal achievement by Dr. Clark. And good luck to him. Good luck to him. But being the person that is taking up this appointment, it, it puts the whole picture into a different perspective. See, since 2018, Dr. Nigel Clark, a very bright Jamaican, became a member of parliament and the minister of finance. He spent lots of money and campaigned hard and long to get these positions. And according to whoever you want to believe, he's been doing an awesome job in bringing the Jamaican economy or economy to where it should be. The government that is a part of promises prosperity. And I would assume it meant prosperity for all Jamaicans. All Jamaicans. So if that is not yet been achieved, and we don't see that we are on our road, on the road to achieving prosperity for all, then it's mission not accomplished. And for Dr. Clark to accept a position to become one of the three deputy managing directors of the IMF leaves me wondering. Now here is what renowned cartoonist last May. Here's how he viewed the entire situation. Now here is our man I would define as the average man. The average Jamaican, as the as the English would say, the man on the back of the Clapham omnibus, I think that's what they call it. The man on the back of the Clapham omnibus. So the man in the back of one half a tree to downtown bus. This is how he saw the current developments. Take a listen and a look. Racy, as you are reading the newspaper, and as he said, Nigel Clark get big position, IMF. Well, I've, I've been following the news and I, 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 I look at the consistency in him at being 
a labor right. He thinks he's going to greener pastures. But he is the epitome, the epitome of a hypocrite. Because you cannot be in a country that you are the finance minister and you are saying you are here to guide the country to rough waters. And know that the country is in very rough and deep waters. And you jump ship. So all them want the doctor and the nurses and the, and the teachers to stay when the very same politician them are leave. That's how hypocritical they are. That they are telling you, tighten your belt, you must bear it. You understand? Mm. You must bear it. But him jump ship and gone to greener pastures. Very disgraceful. Hypocrisy. Very disgraceful. At its highest order. Very disgraceful. And, and we have to realize that these people don't really mean Jamaica any good. They mean their selves. Pocket. Very egoistic. And this is why they would okay a 200% increase for parliamentarians, but 10% for teachers and 5% for police and others. Shameful. Now, I can't say I disagree with anything that gentleman had to say a while ago. Um, Nigel, the Minister of Finance, recently gave himself and his colleagues Super, super increases in salary, 200%. And they gave the teachers and the nurses and the police a pittance he gave them, pittance. And, 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 and they should bend them belly because of the IMF. The IMF. Now, if, if Nigel has given himself a 200% increase, think he was earning 27 million Jamaican dollars a year. He's not the average man. He's not one of those who can't run. He's not a low-budget person. So he can afford to survive in relative comfort. But green apostles called him and he ran. He ran and left the job that he was doing. The job that he's been applauded for. So he's wonderful, he's the best. But he left that job incomplete to go pursue his own personal ambitions. Nothing wrong with that. But you can't get me to drop down and glorify, oh, look, that Jamaica would be one of the top positions in the IMF. Is he joining the IMF? As I heard somebody try to, to insinuate that he's joining the IMF to benefit Jamaica. How would that be possible? He's one of, the IMF as a managing director, a first managing director, and then three deputies. Dr. Clark is going to become one of the managing, the deputy managing directors. Is he, not going, is he going to change the plans of, of the IMF or to carry out the policies of the IMF. Now, if we look at the IMF over the years and the role it's played in, in where Jamaica, to, to take in Jamaica to where it is today, I have to sit back and scratch my head because I'm old enough to remember when the IMF was called It's Manly's Fault. I remember those days, right? I, I can remember some of the measures, austerity measures that the IMF has, in, has, has forced countries to implement on their people just in order to get loans from them or drawn on the loans. See, the IMF is a multinational um, conglomeration that's funded by contributing developing, developed nations. And they have people serving on their boards and they give out their money as they see fit. And it tries to make developing countries credit worthy. So it gives you, it gives countries some stringent measures. You have to achieve all of this in order to get the loans. And lots of people in many, many countries across the world have suffered as a result of these measures. They can't get a salary increase because the IMF says no. As a matter of fact, it says for two years, going back and looking at the um, uh, story in the Washington Post, says for two years, and I admit it, this is back in the day, for two years, Jamaica had submitted itself to the IMF rigorous economic rules and tests, including a planned drop of 25% in the standard of living. So the IMF told Jamaica, planned, that the standard of living must drop 25%. And that is where Nigel is going to go to join. And you want me to bow down and glorify it? Hmm? It also imposed a 30% devaluation in the, in the currency. It, all this in the 12 months period. 
just so you can get some money to ease the balance of payment shortfalls that you have. <laughs> to many Jamaicans, the IMF is the devil incarnate. And this has been blamed for so many things. So I am not seeing the IMF going to change its course because Nigel from Jamaica, Nigel Clark from Jamaica is joining them. I don't see that. That's not going to be happening. Because if, if Nigel could go and then change the course, then any country could send somebody or try and get their person on the board or become a managing director or deputy managing director and see how it could affect their country. Nigel, I remember the discussions in Parliament recently when word came out that the opposition leader, Mark Golden, was a dual citizen, um, Jamaica and British citizen, and also spokesperson on finance, Julian Robinson. I remember the forum. They're going to run. They're going to jump ship. They're going to run away. They're not going to stay when things get... We've got a classic example right in front of us. The man who is piloting the ship for prosperity has jumped. He, he didn't need a dual passport or do, to be a dual citizen, citizen to jump. He jumped. And it's the same thing we saw previously where Kamina Johnson-Smith, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, tried to become the Commonwealth Secretary General. Same kind of thing. But yet you blame it. The party figures others say they will jump and run. But you, Nigel Clark, has jumped and run. I don't hear nobody talking about that. I just hear people talking about bad men. I know people going to come for me after this video is out. But come. But tell me where, where I am wrong. I know nothing says bad man. I have nothing to bad mind nobody about. That's not in my nature. I don't think it's because me in my politics. I'm a tribal and all of that. But Nigel driving the ship of prosperity so all Jamaican can live a standard of living. That is and you jump left it, gone, look for so he's gone to to Washington DC. It's gonna be earning, I, I understand, three hundred and eleven thousand US dollars per year. When you calculate that in Jamaican dollars, it works out to be about 46, 46 million Jamaican dollars. Massive. So you're jumping from 27 to 46. So you're attracted by personal ambition. So that comes over the country. And I can't, I, I can't, because I am a man who don't live in Jamaica. I ran to see if I can better myself and my family. And I can't knock him for that. But I wasn't driving the ship. You see, this coming from a party of people where um, Richard Vernon, who is now the mayor of Montego Bay, then he was deputy mayor, he said, <laughs> only cowards run away to go to America because they are seeking out opportunity. Opportunities are there overseas, but do not run away and leave your country, especially leaving indefinitely, and you don't want to contribute to the further development of your country. Mayor Vernon, here you have a classic example, a classic case of somebody who's running away from his country. And I don't hear, I haven't heard your voices yet. It's not too late to chime in and look at your way after saying it. So is, he, is Dr. Nigel Clark a coward? It, it just no make no sense to me. No sense at all. So we are glory. It's okay because you're gonna fly the flag. A, pro a pro curse our egos. We can we can brag. A Jamaican in a top position. A, one of the top position in the IMF. It's like saying we, we, we athletes are winning Olympic gold medals. You saying both the fastest. At least you saying was there wearing the flag and repping the country. When Nigel goes to the IMF, he'll be repping Nigel and his family, his Sri Lankan wife that he that he has posed and showed off. It's a competitive world for low budget people. After you give yourself a 200% increase, it's still not enough. Look, Nigel said it was, it was the country is unable to attract and retain the level of talent that's needed to manage public bureaucracy. Here, take a listen to Nigel Clark speaking to Dean Jackson Miller. we are going through the experience that we have, Dion. We are unable to attract and retain the talent that we need to run the public bureaucracy. 
that is going to change in salaries alone will not fix it but it will go a long way towards addressing that problem last year clearly Nigel was right in this instance because he is a classic example of how the country cannot retain the bright persons who are needed to manage the affairs of public bureaucracy and, and the country in general. I, I, I wish him personally the best, but I will not be jumping over any anything at all to wave any flag to say, hooray, hooray, hooray. Because if you're on a mission to lead the country somewhere, the mission is incomplete and you have chosen to jump and run somewhere, this is a position you fought for and campaigned for. And yet you have abandoned it. I don't see why we should be falling over ourselves to glorify it. I can't. What about those who can't? They will have to stay. Who can run, will run, will run. Who can afford to run, will run. But what about those who can't? They will have to stay. It's a competitive world for low-budget people. Nigel. Nigel Clark. Nigel Clark. The man who would not even find it within himself to apologize for a statement he made calling his fellow politician Massa and knowing exactly what it meant and tried to spin around it. You couldn't find within yourself to be man enough to apologize. And yet, no, you've gone and you're, you're about to go on your way. You pack your bags and about to go. I must fall over myself to glorify. Glorify the work that you've done. What, 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 what is the value of the Jamaican dollar to the US dollar right now? For salaries you offer the teachers. You're, you're the, you are currently the highest paid finance minister in the Caribbean. Jamaica is not the most, the best economic country economically in the Caribbean. The Prime Minister, the highest paid Prime Minister in the Caribbean by far. Jamaica is not the most successful economic country in the Caribbean. And we expect that Nigel, who put through all those plans, that Nigel to go to the IMF, spin them around, turn them, change them, revolutionize them. And so Jamaica can benefit. We will only be able to say, look, when we are brag and boast against other country, it's a Jamaican, it's a Jamaican in the White House, you know? it's VP, it's a Jamaican, it's a Jamaican, it's the fastest man in the world of Jamaican by the end of the day. At the end of the day, those who can afford will, to run will run, but what about those who can't? Tell me if you agree with me. Or tell me or disagree with me. Cuss me out in the comment section. But let me hear your thoughts. Eh? And until next time. As always. Enough love. Enough manners. Enough respects. Blessings. 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 Thanks for watching.